here we have the Legend of Juan, also called Beginnings, and we find out the origin of everything. We learn that the show's universe originally started off as Okami, yet mark my words, it's a crossover waiting to happen. We learn where the bending came from. I kind of like how everyone just sort of clumsily throws their powers around until Juan actually learns how to use them properly. There's even a callback to the last airbender as he's practicing firebending with the dragons. We learn what the term Avatar actually means because Juan becomes the Avatar for Rava, the Spirit of Light. We learn why he reincarnates because his spirit is permanently bonded with Rava and she can't die. We learn why the Southern Spirit Portal was closed and why it's such a big deal that Unalak went into the spirit world earlier. And they did a great job building up Juan and showing him grow as a character to the point that the end of his story felt really tragic. Overall, I think these episodes were great. Taken together as a two-parter, it's definitely one of the better segments from The Legend of Korra and the best part of Season 2 so far. I just have a few problems with it. First and foremost, there needed to be more of it. There's a great story here, but it's so big and there are so many parts that feel like they're being rushed. Like, Juan touches the rainbow of light and suddenly he and Rava are now bonded forever. You know, just a little more explanation for that, please? Plus, we see years of this guy's life go by in a matter of minutes, and that creates a few awkward transitions with the character development. Like how Rava's really impatient with Juan at first, and then a year later, they're best friends. Oh, now they're bonded forever? Yeah, Rava's totally cool with that. You don't even have to ask. Also, if the lion turtles all stopped giving the humans elemental powers, then how come some people still have them while it's impossible for others. So yeah, ideally I think this should have had an entire season or even its own series. I also found it really distracting when the show would cut back to Korra because she has nothing to do here. We don't see her astral form walking around in Wan's story, she doesn't react to anything except for mumbling in her sleep. We're told at one point that she might die from what she's going through, but we really don't know how Wan's story is affecting her because when it cuts back to him, Korra might as well not even exist. And my final serious problem problem is with the heavy-handed moral. Now, we've seen this time and time again with this kind of story. The spirits of nature all hate humans because humans are all disrespectful assholes. They even interrupt a pretty major piece of world building as Juan points out that because of the way human civilizations are set up, most people think they live in the only human city on the planet. But then Rava has to get on her soapbox and say that most humans think only of themselves regardless of how many others are around. I mean, wow, talk about subtle. You think he could beat me over the head with that a little more? Because I don't think I've got it yet. And what makes this really annoying is that for all of their lecturing, the spirits are just as bad. Even when they meet Juan and he is being respectful, saying, please, can I just have some food and water because otherwise I'm going to die? Their response is, pfft, not my problem. When he sees Rava and Vatu fighting, Vatu is humble when asking for help. So what happens next? Hmm, you've been fighting for 10,000 years? That sounds terrible. Rava, what do you have to say about all of this? Fuck off, human. Honestly, who would you get behind in that situation? And when Juan does the most logical thing at the time, Rava still yells at him like he was somehow supposed to know better. Do you realize what you've done? You don't even know who I am, do you? No, and you don't seem to want to tell me, so have a nice fucking day, bitch. Juan's excuse later is that Vatu tricked him, but it really wasn't all that difficult when you look at how Rava was acting. Still, I don't want to get too down on this because once the characters grew the fuck up a bit, I ended up really liking them. Them. And ultimately, what we have here is an actual hero's journey making for an epic story that Frankly, the show's been missing up to this point. It's not perfect, but it is strong enough that I'm willing to overlook a few nitpicky complaints. And I really, really hope the rest of the show can be this good moving forward. 